So we put those safely away. Now the next thing we have to do, very carefully, we have to remove the lid from the printer. It's quite simple, we get a flat baited screwdriver and we just pull in this direction as we see here and again we keep the lid for, for future use. If ever we want to return the printer to standard OEM cartridges. We now take out the cable from the back of the printer. We take out the mains cable so that the printer, just in case really, in case we accidentally push one of these buttons and it starts moving up and down, which we don't want. So now that the now it's in the ink change position and the mains lead has been taken away from the printer, we can move the carriage manually up towards the left hand side of the printer we can now take our cartridge bank that we filled up as is nicely ready to go in we can now we can now arrange the arrange everything so that it's ready to go in the printer itself now in this case it's got the elastic bands already round here and I've already put the spare cartridge on top. Now in this case the spare cartridge is the matte black cartridge. You may wish to put the photo black cartridge on the top in place. So it's entirely up to you whether you're doing whether you're doing gloss and satin printing or whether you're doing matte and fine art printing mainly. In my case we do gloss and satin printing mainly. So having moved the carriage across to the left hand side, what we now do is enter the cartridges underneath the crossbar as you can see here, allow the tubing to come up and we move the assembly underneath the crossbar. We can now move the carriage back to the ink change position. We're now safe to undo the two elastic bands that we've had holding everything together. And we now keep the keep the the order of the cartridges and we very loosely put them into the carriage as you see here. Nice and loose and we check that we've got the correct cartridges in the correct position and we just loosely wobble them in and as you can see we've got the we've got the spare cartridge which is the matte black and it nicely sits down here we have the that's the matte black it nicely sits down underneath the existing tubing so as so long as we're happy with this we can now push the cartridges in and the cartridges are now being pierced by the printer itself. Now one of the last things we need to do, in with the kit, we have a little pressure plate. This little Perspex pressure plate pushes in the back here and ensures that we have a good, even, reliable pressure for the chips to be read by the printer itself. So it means to say we've got a very, very reliable, uh, a very reliable uh, uh, um, uh, reading of the chips. Now one of the last things we need to do is prepare the printer to accept the little self-adhesives. So we have our little alcohol swab. We take out the alcohol swab and we clean the areas that need to be cleaned which is this middle piece here this little piece here and also up the top here and up the other end as well so there's our alcohol swabs now we take a little piece of we take a little piece of kitchen roll and we dry that off now the idea of this is we just remove any 
residue of grease that might be on top of the printer to make sure the adhesion is as perfect as we can make it. Now the tubing is intended to lay at right angles to the to the cartridges as you see here and we have a nice little select we'd have a nice little support and we we stick that on top so that the tubing is in line with the tubing that runs underneath and the edge there is in line so so this this looks fine so we can undo the we can undo the sticky here making sure it's all in line we press we press that down and the last little bit here we can undo these twists later on and the last little piece is the is the little clip that we see here and that's the clip now these clips can be opened quite easily okay and we can undo this twist as we as we like there's a little rubber buffer that we undo we put one on this side and one at the other side and that prevents the lid from closing down on top of the on top of the tubing now before we finally turn everything on we need to manually push the push it up to the left hand side and make sure that we've got a reasonable tension and you may want to just adjust that slightly until you've got a nice tension now we'll move your view so that you can actually see on the on this side of the this side of the printer you'll actually be able to see the carriage as it moves across as it goes this way so that's the ink chains position as you can see here comes across it makes a nice arch across and it can go all the way to the back it's reasonably tight but not too tight we can adjust it slightly until it until it reliably gives us this arch as you can see here now once we achieve this we're quite safe now to turn the printer on so what we do is put the put the electricity back in the back of the printer turn on the printer itself and we're looking for the printer to start up we want to make sure there are no little red lights coming on across the top here and also that we've got free travel left and right now once everything settles down so that the little green light at the right hand side of the printer is steady we then check for a perfect nozzle check having achieved a perfect nozzle check we then install the printer profiles supplied on the CD which comes with the kit then we start printing we print using the various license papers that we've been given with the starter kit and when we've decided on the favourite paper our favourite license paper we can then create a custom profile test target which is contained on the CD. We print out the test target, we post that back to the license laboratories and in the laboratories they create a custom profile for you for your favourite license paper to give you extremely accurate colour accurate density and most importantly an extremely smooth characteristic curve thanks very much for watching